Welcome students, this is your senpai, Supreme Thunder, and today we're going to learn the secret to making big anime hair bows. A small amount of fabric, some iron-on interfacing, a ruler, a chopstick, some pins, scissors, a hot glue gun, and an iron. Once you've decided how big you want your bow to be, cut two rectangles from your fabric about that size, in my case 5 by 8, and also a smaller rectangle, in this case 5 by 2 and a half. Once you have your rectangles of fabric, also cut a slightly smaller rectangle of interfacing. Lay your interfacing shiny side down. You want to make sure that the adhesive side is on your fabric. Smooth on the interfacing until you can feel it adhering. You're making sort of an interfacing sandwich. So you've got right side of the fabric to the right side of the fabric, and then over here, you're interfacing. Pin it together and head over to the sewing machine. Start your stitch in about the middle of the bow. You'll need to leave a gap here so you can turn the whole thing inside out when you're done. Sew it with a straight stitch. and pivot when you reach the corners. Make sure that you catch the interfacing as well as the fabric when you sew. When you get to the end, remember to leave that gap. After you're done sewing, trim the corners so they'll look nice when you turn the bow inside out. Using the gap that you created, carefully push the bow inside out. Use your chopstick to push the corners out and make them more pointy. Be careful not to poke a hole in the interfacing. Take your small rectangle and fold it in half lengthwise. Sew this along the raw edge end to end. Now that you have a tube, you can turn it inside out. The chopstick comes in handy for this too. You now have a little round tube that you'll use for your bow connector. Remember the gap that was left from turning the bow inside out? We're going to close it up now with some hot glue. You can also use hand sewing, but hot glue is a lot faster and more convenient. Now put some hot glue in the middle of the bow and fold it in half. We're going to make two more folds to give it that nice perfect ruffle in the middle. Now that you have it glued together in the middle, put two more lines of hot glue on the outside like that, and flip it once, and flip it twice. So you see we folded it like an accordion. I've decided I want this to be the front of my bow. So start by gluing the connector near the front, and then we'll wrap it all the way around and hide the raw edge. Seal the end of the tube with hot glue, and wash your fingers. Secure it near the front of the bow. Wrap it around. You can trim it to size if you need. And we'll turn it under to make it look nice and neat and finally secure it to the rest of the bow. There you have it. These bows are very versatile. You can make different sizes for different purposes. Slip a ribbon through it, tie it in your hair, glue it to a hair clip, and decorating around the house. Use a safety pin to attach it to any costume, or simply annoying your cats. Thanks for joining me today. Enjoy your ridiculous bow, and as always, do your best.